Hi guys, my name is Eric and because I love Blender, you can call me Blenderic. In this series of video tutorials, uh, we're going to be building a house, a complete house in uh, Blender. So it's all up to you if you want to make a model of your house or of the house of your dreams. You just need a floor plan and some reference pictures. If you want to do it as an exercise, you can use uh, these pictures which you can download. Uh, using a link in the description floor plan and some you know front back right and left views this is something I have created uh, in another software and I'm using it as a reference pictures for a model so first thing first let's go to scene and select the metrics because I'm gonna make a model to scale 7 to the top view 5 to orthographic view X to delete default cube, shift A, add mesh plane, tap to edit mode, press N to bring the properties panel and take edge length. It shows each side is two meters long. I'm not using uh, and I know that my walls are gonna be 30 centimeters thick so I'm scaling it down to roughly 30. Doesn't have to be exact but as close as close as possible okay now we need to bring the background image add image set it to top because we know that we're gonna be bringing the pictures for our top view floor plan house tutorial reference and this one here uh, we need to we see straight away that we need to scale it up a little bit I need to scale it up a little bit more. to grab bring it to the corner great that's the way uh, uh, I like it okay uh, bring the opacity a bit down that we can see what's going on and don't need the properties panel anymore and with the uh, panel uh, plane selected press shift D Y bring it to this corner here and now B box selection select both shift D X shift D X oh something is wrong with my keyboard while I'm recording I don't know why shift D X look at that A to D select and B select both and again shift D X yeah now we just need to connect them A to D select B for box selection select these four press F to create a face B box selection F face and the same thing F and last one F A okay so we got our exterior walls done now we need to get uh, add a loop cuts to create the openings for windows and doors so I'll just show you how to do just one two of them and basic of creating interior walls how to connect them and then I'll pause the video and as soon as I'm done I'll be back so I'm gonna be adding opening for this window so press ctrl R scroll the mouse wheel bring it here zoom in and press S X scale along the X axis 150 that should be that's why I know 
so 140 SX I was wrong okay something like that so this way you're gonna add the openings if you look as for each of the windows and each of the doors in including the interior walls later on but now so we've got this one done I just want to show you how to make the interior walls basically the same thing add a loop cut scroll your miles wheel bring it here SX I know the interior walls are gonna be uh, 15 centimeters thick SX so scale it down to about 15 So to about 15. Now you select tab 2, extrude Y, bring it here, extrude Y again, the f about 15 again, A, B, and extrude X. But let's say for example here you want to create the wall here and connect them together so let's start on this side by adding two loop cuts here control R S Y scale it down fifteen again A to D select B, select these two and extrude them along the X axis. EX. I'm taking them a bit further than necessary because I want to have a visual reference about where to add loop cut on this wall. Control R. S Y. Almost good. That's why, as I said, it doesn't have to be exactly because you know, in real life, the buildings are not perfectly straight. And now select this vertex, this one, press W, merge at last. One, two, W, merge at last. And that's it. So, this way, you're gonna finish everything you need like control R adding opening for doors scale X these are small doors so it's gonna be 60 centimeters and this way create the openings for all and create your interior walls I'll be back when we are done Okay, so I'm back. Uh, everything's done and uh, we are ready for extrusion. You just want to make sure that you've got everything done, everything that really needs to be done because otherwise it's not going to be easy, easier for you. It doesn't make it easy for you to fix the things later. So make sure that every opening is then all the walls are connected. I need to select all, press N, bring the properties panel and we don't need to see our dimensions anymore. Because it just messing up with our view one to go to the front view and we need to bring another image you can minimize this one add image front open this one open again we need to scale it up Visible T. 
takes a few minutes to adjust, you know. All done. And we'll maybe take the opacity down as well. Go to the edit mode, one to the front view, and we are ready to make extrusions. So with everything selected, uh, let's go to face mode, face selection mode. Press E to extrude along the Z axis and extrude it to the bottom of the doors. And now by holding shift. Make sure you deselect all the doors in a house. We're not extruding the doors now. In this case, with this module, is one, two, three. We've got doors here and here. This one and this one. This is the small window, this is the big window, and another window's here. Alright, so go to the front view again again and press E to extrude and take it up to the bottom, bottom of the window. Alright. Now hold down the shift, deselect the windows. One, two, three, and four. Go to the front view, eat extrude, it's about the bottom of the small windows, or deselect them, one, eat extrude, and it's about the top of a window confirm and eat extrude one more time that's about like this we can adjust it later okay so we are done with this part and now another hideous part you know comes so I'll have to Pause the video and come back again as soon as we are done. You need to delete all these extra faces, or you don't have to buy it. I'm just trying to keep the amount of the faces low as possible. So, with this selected, press X to extrude uh, X and delete faces. And you have to do it with all these faces because we're gonna be actually in vertex mode, select uh, connecting these. Select four and press F A Z to wireframe mode. One, two, three, four. F A. One, two, three, and four. F A and one, two, three, and four. F A Z. So we are closing this opening. You know. So remember, if you go to face selection mode and select all these extra faces, you don't need. This is not necessary part, but you can do it. Press X to delete faces, then switch to vertex mode and you're starting with connecting FA. So again, I will see you soon. As soon as it's all done.